Hello, welcome to another tutorial by Black Lilith. The topic today, I will cover a roundabout, i.e. For this tutorial, I will use the Unity Standard Asset Package. There is one problem, the package has been deprecated, but if you have downloaded it before, it should be in your packages manager. Well, anyway, I will give you a link to download it in the description. This tutorial is only target for the VRChat SDK2. Because the standard asset only work in SDK2, but not in SDK3 you done. In SDK3, you have to make your own AI logic, scripting. Either mimic what the script in the standard asset does or up to your design, but overall, I'm not cover the logic in SDK3. Let's go back in the scene. This an empty scene, with just the platform. Now I will type in the search bar of the project. Type in third person character. It should show of these. Drag this one in the scene. This is the AI example in the Unity Standard Asset. His name is Ethan. Now look at these in the inspector. We have the animator, rigid body, capsule collider, nav mesh agent, AI character control script, third person character. First, let me cover the animator. Unity Standard Asset, uh, I have most of things in the animator, and they use the A, I, character control script and third person character script to tell what Ethan should do in the scene. Get in the animator tab, we have these stage and animator variables. Forward variable tells the direction in the Z value of the game object transform. That how they identify the game object to forward or backward. In the Ethan, script will detect the position from the current position of Ethan, to the target. When that target is moved away a bit like 0 0.5 value in Z, Ethan will do walking animation, if it's larger. The turn variable is the x value and transform which is the left and right. Combine with the forward to tell Ethan to turn right or left while either in standby, or walking, or running. One of the very complex part is in the animation stage itself. See this, each of these stage contain a blend tree. Blend tree is a set, group of motion, animation clips together. This one based on the value of forward in turn, will trigger these animation. This, same for being jump, and crouching. Depends on how you want your own a, I, to have complicated movement, emotion, etc. You play around with the animation stage blend tree. I should warn you too, the more complex behavior motion blend, the more heavier your, A, I, character is during the play time. This is one of the reason why high performance graphic game these day is so heavy but realistic motion enough. Now. Let's move to next thing. Standard asset should include the example scene for you to look at. You can take it as example how they tell the AI to action. Now return to the scene. Let me create an object, 
drag it in this target controller inside the Ethan. Hit play. You should see him try to follow the game object but there is a problem. He doesn't move at all or if he move, he will be stuck inside that idle standing stage. To fix this, and your scene, I don't know how you build it but you should have the navigation bake. It locate in the window, the I, navigation. You can play around with the agent setting. If you don't know, don't sure just leave it to fault. To bake able, you need the area has to be in static. Which an example scene here is my platform. Mark it static. Hit bake to bake navigation. This bake require because for how Unity standard asset work, A, I, doesn't know where it should walk, run, jump. Now, you just see, after bake the static object. Ethan now able to smoothly move forward the target object. Is it easy? Okay, let's me move to final part of this tutorial today. Make the AI follow you player when you're in the map. To make it follow player, you need a player tracking. This is from the Toy Box package available in the link description below. What it does, it tracking every frame the position of your camera is. I won't cover what else I can do and how to build it. Basically, you have that in the scene. You can drag the player handle into the target in the AI control script. So when you're in the map, this Ethan will follow you very close right away. But I'm going to distance him by drag the forward instead into the target. And let me make a button to tell him only follow when I press. Otherwise, do nothing or return to where his original position. Okay, make extra game object in the AI, drag it out of the parent, name it original position. Make the cube, or whatever to do trigger.
the Unity Standard Asset, AI, script for VR chat can only interact with them via the UA button. Plus you need animator to tell this game object to press the UI button itself to trigger. Don't ask me why but that is how VR chat work with stuffs like Unity Standard Asset. In the button, hit the plus, drag the AI third person controller in. Like this. Next to the runtime only here contain every available script inside the object. Each script will have its own function. Just select the character control. Bool. This will tell the script turn on or off. After this go back to Ethan. Turn the script off. So when you're in the map he doesn't follow you right away. In the follow, you make an animator clip. Say I like, press me or something. Make an animation event. Go here, just select the press. This will tell to press the UI button. Disable the game object. Back to the parent, in local interact, enable the follow. It means, after player press the cube, it turn on the follow object. When the object is on, it will automatic press the IE button was tell by the animator. Activate the character control, and turn this follow to false. So Ethan will follow you. Let get inside play real time to let you see. See, he follow me when I press the button. That is it for the most basic how to have an AI follow you in the map. 
but it doesn't cover enough. Follow your camera position is local. Which only you able to see it follow you. Other player can't. To sync correctly, you need to put an object sync into the AI itself. This will sync the physic position of the object also sync the animator too. However, up to today, there is a bug in VR chat SDK, putting object sync and the same game object that has animator, will not sync the animator. This is both good and bad, but it should be optional to sync animator or not. Like Udin, it will be come out soon. Go back to the AI, put the object sync in. So after this, if someone else was in the map with you, they will see the Ethan follow you correctly. But not for late join. Late join, networking is much more complicated. In general, AI is already a complicated level. So to sync it for the late join people, this is suggest by Cyan Laser, my friend. Put a auto cam at the parent and put a cam in the IE. Target the auto cam in the parent to the cam inside the child. I'm honestly don't know why this is the way or why does it work like that. That is it for this tutorial today. On the next tutorial of the AI topic again, I will show you how you can make it attack player. Make it die, health bar for it, your own custom animation clip blend different than standard asset. Should be easy but time consume. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. If you want to support me, Feel free to donate or hit the like, dislike button. If you have question, you know how to contact me.